Good morning. I beg your pardon. <laughs> I, I said good morning. <gasps> At last. I'm sorry. After all these years. What? Welcome, comrade, welcome. Sit down, rest your weary elbows. You'll take a glass of vodka. Mr. Dalliard, Mr. Dalliard, <laughs> break out the false passports and the rabbit skin hats. We are going to Moscow. <laughs> what news, comrade Stalin in rude health, I trust? Wait, 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 wait a minute. All I said was good morning. Precisely. The code. <laughs> It is now 27 summers since Comrade Malensky stood slightly to the left of where you are now and told me that one day a man would come into this shop and give notice of his allegiance with the phrase, Good morning. <laughs> and that on hearing those words, Mr Dalliard and I were to detonate our relatives and fly to Dover. <laughs> fly to Dover? Where a man named Smith would see us safely onto a goods train delivering livestock to Minsk. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> when I said good morning, all I meant was, you know, good morning. Oh. That's, that's, uh, that's all I meant. Ah. Oh, well, in that case, please accept my green felt apologies. <laughs> I, I, I just came in here to, to buy a model. A model? Yes. A model? Yes. A model? Yes. A model? Yes. <laughs> yes. I want to buy a model. With or without plastic struts? <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I, I thought maybe a model aeroplane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me ask a different question in the same way. Um, who is this aeroplane for? It's for my son. It's, it's his birthday. Your son? Yes. Just your son? Yes. Mm -hmm. And when is this birthday of his? Wednesday. Yes, that's what I said. When's the day? <laughs> no, Wednesday. Are you stupid or just plain dead? <laughs> Wednesday. Oh, you are genuinely stupid. I do apologize. <laughs> sorry, I thought you were just being deaf. Mr. Dalliard, command the earth to swallow me up. I do apologize, sir. Life must be hard enough for stupid people without tactless old bastards like that lady over there rubbing it into your face with salt widely. Mr. Dalliard, I've gone peculiar now. <laughs> so, in plain flavored English, when is your son's birthday? <laughs> The, the day after Tuesday. The day after... My word, doctors are so specific these days, aren't they? And are you expecting this boy to be a boy or a girl? <laughs> no, it's, it's my son. He's nine. This is going to be his tenth birthday. His tenth? Oh, sir, I fear you're spoiling him. I was only ever allowed one on my birthday, usually. Still, I guess I'm doing your own business best. Just don't come bleating to Mr Dalliard and me if this son of yours turns out to be one of those drug jockeys we're always reading about on television. Um, a glass of water? No, thank you. A cup of water? No. A plate of water, then? No, no, no thank you. I just want a model aeroplane. A model aeroplane of water? No, no. I, <laughs> forget the, I don't want any water. Forget the water. I just want to buy a model aeroplane. I thought perhaps the Messerschmitt 109E in the window. The Messerschmitt 109E in the window. That's right. Mm -hmm. Fizzy or still? <laughs> what? No, uh, that doesn't count. I had my hand on my head. <laughs> I must ignore anything I say when my hand is on my head. Right. So, the Messerschmitt 109E. Yes, and uh, I suppose some glue. Some glue? Then your son is already a drug jockey. <laughs> Mr. Dalliard and I warned you on bended legs, but would you listen? No, no, look at you. Hey ho. What's this? A uh, Messerschmitt 109E and a fix for that degenerate junkie son of yours. <laughs> but he's already done. Sir? Well, the model's ready assembled. Well, you can't expect us to do all the work ourselves, sir. The whole joy of modelling lies in carefully scraping off the paint, soaking off the transfer, <laughs> taking the plane apart piece by piece, putting each piece into a small polythene bag which is then sealed and placed inside the box. An achievement, something to be proud of. Rare words indeed in these days of supersonic hedgehog brothers and ready-sliced golf shots. <laughs> That's it. Just forget it. Forget it. I'll, I'll, I'll try somewhere else. Mr. Deliard has a gun trained on you through the curtain, sir. At a single word from me, he will blow your head clean off with as much mercy as if you were a helpless seal pup called Arnold. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so sorry we couldn't help you, sir. We do try to accommodate our customers, but not being a hotel, we find it almost impossible. <laughs> Right, well, all I can say is this has not been a very good morning. Good morning, Mr. Dalliard! Mr. Dalliard, you've been activated after all these years. Strange man.